to throw water at my face. Yeah. Today we're on Starvation Creek and we're taking test, test pans, test pans to try and find new gold deposits. I'm not feeling particularly lucky. There's not much iron stone, there's not much black sand. And all we got was just micro-fine nano dots. Let's keep looking. All right, we got way better spec count, but again, micro, micro-fine. Have a look at this. <laughs> so this pan is off the edge of the gravel bar. Normally if you get an edge with fast water, it tends to concentrate the gold in a line like a sluice. So that's what we're hoping for here, but this is very gravelly with no consistency to the soil. So I haven't got too much hope yet. Well, uh, we literally got about exactly the same as what we got off the top of the gravel bar. This is what test panning is all about. Not every pan is going to be a good one. Eventually, you will hit it though. We're going to hit it today. You watch. Yeah. Come on, snacks. One of you sit. Nom, 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 nom. Pan. Oh, no one more. Sweat now. This stuff looks real good. I just jinxed myself. You never meant to say that. <laughs> it's exactly the same as the last pan. Like super fine gold, enough specs. We had a high banker down here. Maybe it'd be worth it, but not for panning. Not for today. We need more. We've got a really nice straight section, and I'm standing on an inside bend with a little gravel bar. And our probe results have shown us a lot more ironstone, so we're going to probe it. See if we can't pick up a nice heavy section of iron and then pan it. So we're going to take a pan from right here. Really? You have so many opinions today, Fern. You do? Way more black sand, way more iron stone. Come on, now we just need the gold. Ooh, visible bits! Visible bits! Comparative to what we were getting in all our other test pans, we've got about 20 or 30 micro pieces and a couple of nice flakes in there. So maybe we should take another pan and see what we get. We've got significant ironstone right at the start of this inside bend, so we're going to take a pan from here and just see if this is the first place gold dropped out, because that should be the biggest accumulation. Right, sim Similar-ish results to the last pan. One nice flake, a few micros. Still, if I had a river sluice or something, woo, but we don't, we've got pans. We need better. We've come upstream to hunt some bedrock sections and we spotted these two outcroppings here where I took my first test pan from in between, both of them. <laughs> so we've got a fresh pan here and we're gonna show you something, something good. I told you we we're gonna hit it today. Here we go. Big piece of ironstone. That's a good start. Look at the gold! Yeah, boy! That is what we are talking about. Look at it. Chunky pieces. None of that fine stuff. Let's work here. Yum, yum, yum. Gobble guts. Not hungry no more. Oh yeah. We're 
shattered bedrock, which is perfect. River rock, and lots and lots of finds that were hiding in that crevice. Yeah, we've still got decent gold. Not quite as good as that last pan, but way better than what we're getting downstream. Nah, no gold. No gold worth talking about. Just these four significant pieces. I, hardly worth talking about, eh? but I think I got most of the dirt out of it. Most of this pan is just smashed bedrock, hardly any river rock. So I don't know, I honestly don't know how this pan's gonna go. It'd be super sweet if there was like a mad load of gold in there, but just by the look of the dirt, I don't think it's going to be that way. Not too much black sand, hardly any ironstone. Ooh, but we got a booger! Hey, hey, if we're going to get one bit out of the cave, it was going to be a nice bit. Look at that! Yeah! It's not every day you get to have tasty boogers like that for breakfast. <laughs> and it's got a couple of friends. Oh, that feels good. Gadzi's just said that he's got a good feeling in his waters about this pan, and you always trust the cameraman. Gadzi's waters are reasonably accurate. Um, one little picker and about one, two, three, four, five, six, about, about six pieces. <laughs> Look at that little rody booger. Ooh. We've had a little bit of a theory since one of my subscribers mentioned that some of the dirt we were digging on this creek looked like glacial till dirt that he works over in the USA. And it wasn't until he mentioned that and I did a little bit of research, I found that there was in fact glaciers moving through this area. This is the conglomerate that he's talking about. So this is like cement, but it's river gravels. And it, it, this is what he was talking about looking like glacial till. We've got a theory, that piece of gold was up quite high in the creek. So we've taken as much of this conglomerate as we can get our hands on and we're going to test it. And if we get gold out of it, we know that it's probably shedding out of this stuff and falling into the creek right here. Uh, this might be a theory. This might be a theory. Now I didn't get a full pan of dirt, but we got two nice flakes and a few pieces of micro in there. So that sort of holds a little bit of weight to so that old glacial till in the conglomerate may be shedding. Further research revealed that this was in fact not glacial till, but instead conglomerate from the Pleistocene period. This age started from 2.6 million years ago, right up as to a recently as 11,700 years ago. That's probably the second best pan I've got today. Right hard up against that conglomerate. Look at this. That is a brilliant spec size and spec count. So I'm gonna just try and hunt as much of that conglomerate as I can. We might not be able to get too much more off this upper bench, but where it dips down into these gullies that we've been working and getting good gold out of, possibly the water has softened it up. <laughs> This is the same stuff, but soft. And it's right in underneath the bank there. So the theory's correct. It did get softer with the water. 
Now it's gonna see if there's any gold in it. Hey! We got a nice round bit, a good flake and a couple of micros. It's always hard to show shape on camera, but that like on your finger is 3D, not 2D, like that piece. We've got a healthy sized bit of lead in there, look at that. That is a chunk. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. We've got a couple of nice pieces coming out. Yeah. We even got a roly poly bit. Ooh. Nice. It's a uh, shotgun pallet of gold. <laughs> and heaps of specs. We started the day off struggling pretty hard. We did find one nice inside bend flood gold gravel deposit. So we're gonna to have to go back with the river sluice and see what we get there. But we ended up in this beautiful bedrock section right next to some glacial till that seems to be shedding. So this is definitely worth coming back to and exploring more. In the meanwhile, let's get this gold home and on the scale. Right before we weigh out the gold, I just wanted to invite you to check out the description below where you're going to find a whole bunch of links to my other social media as well as my merch shop where you can pick up a sweet hat, hoodie or t-shirt. And on top of that, I just wanted to make sure that everyone understood the correction I made that this was not glacial till. It came from a much more recent deposit. Uh, we do have till in our area. It just wasn't where I thought it was. And I confirm this with my friend Steve, who's a career geologist who corrected me. So thank you very much, Steve. After what was an extremely difficult start, all the gold I found test panning and working the conglomerate next to a clash guitars pick for a bit of scale. And we got some healthy sized pieces. But now it's time to get this on the scales. Looking in this piece of paper, there is an okay amount of gold, but some of it is quite chunky. So I'm gonna go with the guess of 0.81. What's your guess? Leave it in the comments below. Point six seven four. That was one of my better guesses. Point six seven four is worth fifty two dollars and nine cents Australian at the time of recording, which I don't think is too bad considering how difficult the day actually started. It took a lot of test pans to find that spot. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please give your dog a scratch behind the ears for me. Peace, and I'm out.